introduce you guys to a method that I use to check my progress. And this is when I'm working on a drawing that's taking a really long time. And typically the drawings that I am working on that are commissions or things that I'm doing for my own projects, they tend to take about 20 hours or more. So you can, you can imagine that when you're working on a drawing for that long, you've been staring at the same thing over and over again. And so this is a method that I use that kind of gives me fresh eyes so that I can check to see if I'm staying on track um, to make sure that my proportions are okay and also to see if I've, um, you know, if I've already preset where my proportions are. Sometimes as I'm shading, there are variations and I'll mix up the proportion a little bit. Like maybe I'll make a dark area too large or I'll make it a little bit too small. So this is a way that gives me fresh eyes to see the drawing that I've been laboring on for so long. So let's take a look at some examples and I'll explain how I do this. Okay, so to start with, you can see I'm drawing and I'm erasing using my kneaded eraser. And then sometimes I'm adding back in with my pencil. And then here you're going to see, I pull out my camera phone and I take a photo with my phone and then I'm going to hold it up next to the drawing and that gives me a way to see some small subtle differences that I need to see in order to make the changes um, that need to be made and then right away I'm taking another photograph and then there I'm kind of looking back and forth between the first photograph and the second photograph that gives me a way to see whether or not I've actually made those changes that I intended to make so taking two photographs and comparing them and also comparing the photo to the drawing gives me ways to see little areas that need to be corrected or adjusted that I can't see when I'm just looking at it with my um, bare eyes. Okay, isn't it cool what we can do with digital cameras? I mean, imagine just 15 years ago, we couldn't do that. So I hope that quick tip really helps you out. Um, and that you're able to make slight adjustments with your drawings so that they look even more accurate because of it.